Hi guys, welcome back. Johnny here, JDFM. I hope I find you well. Episode 2 of Hirith, Call of the Dragon. Thanks for joining. So, we've shot forward quite a bit. In fact, the beginning of September, which in my mind was the end of the transfer window. But who would have thunk it? The rules down in the old National League are slightly different for that. We're talking a transfer window, which seemingly never closes we're talking the 26th of march so we come back i've done a little bit of um wheeling and dealing but nothing huge i'm trying to be focused on getting players out and yet again the theme is get them out for next to nothing just to reduce that wage bill because the financial situation wasn't looking that good improved slightly but hey -oh. you joined me last time with kane mcclagan i believe who was the last one to come in um, he's not done that great to be fair but it's just numbers at the moment getting those Welsh people in the door just to add to the squad but the biggest signing we made which to date he's done fantastic is young Alex Samuel who in real life was promoted with Wickham this season um, he's a striker doesn't like scoring goals for a striker if you look 10 goals in 107 games but he's coming to us at a measly fee of £55,000 He's worth double that already. He's young, he's Welsh, he's got potential. Very happy with his signing. Ideally a pressing forward. And you do look at those physicals and sort of speed that he has. And you can understand his technicals aren't really that good. But it's just, if he's going to run around and do a job, I'm happy with that. So, like I say, we've tried to clear out the squad to get rid of all that high wage and we've done a pretty good job. There's still some odds and sods left over, which I need to get rid of. But at the moment, we're kind of stuck with what we've got here. They are listed. There's a few people interested in these leftover players here. Um, it's just not enough of an uptake for me. Uh, do you know what? I've just brought this lad in as well. Matty Argent Barnes. He's got a polygon of a right back, but he's a striker. Hey, fucking ho. So let's put him in the senior squad just because we need numbers there so that's where we are with our squad let's have a look at how the results have been so as you can see we've had a half decent august similar to the pre-season just a one loss to a shit team solihull motors probably the the worst team we've played and we just couldn't beat them but i think it was more to do with the formation so Barrow cracking win 3 2. Mason Jones Thomas, the lad from Swansea, scoring in the 79th minute. He's had a good start, to be fair, the young lad. So happy with that one. And then the second game was against one of the playoff favourites, Dagenham and Redbridge. And this one was Alex Samuel's first game at the club. And as you can see, the 90th minute, he gets a winner after his strike partner, Jamie Thomas, misses a penalty. Very good result, but the performances were terrible. It just didn't seem to add up because Dagenham and Redbridge, like I say, a good team to beat them. You think we'd perform a lot better? Solly Hell, dreadful. Don't want to talk about that one. Forget about it. Harrogate. Now this is where I think the mantra of our club starts. Okay, goals galore. Destroy them. To be fair, and if you look, Jamie Thomas two goals. Matty Blake, look at this performance my left back, a 9.5, two key passes, one assist, two goals, and those goals were absolute pearlers, both free kicks, um, top of the corner, it was fantastic, he's been brilliant for us, and then in the last game we played Sutton and beat them 3-1, Davy Vaughan getting his first goal for the club after four minutes, Danny Collins was popped up with a couple, he infuriates me, right? He's got a goal in him. He's a great leader at the back. He does so much for us. But, geez, he's got a mistake in him. Honestly, in terms of rating, where are we? A 6.6 .6 all the way up to a 9. He doesn't do things by halves. It's just it's that acceleration and pace, man. He dawdles on the ball and it just falls apart. So that's where we're at. And if we took a look at the league, we're in a mighty second place. Looking at those results and the league, it's been a good start. Jamie Thomas, top scorer with four goals in five appearances. He's done all right, because he's missed a penalty as well. Very happy with his performances. Uh, Matty Blake with a 7.6 average and four assists. This lad, he's going to be a part of this save going forward, I'm telling you. He's not going not gonna to leave us. We're going to tie him into the back room and keep him. 
So let's get on to some live games then. That's what we're all here for. Today we're up against Barnett, who have also had a great start to the season up in third place. I remember Barnett when I was young being in the main leagues rather than down in the Vanarama Nationals. So there's one lad here, Cameron Evans. I looked at him. He would be a fantastic defender alongside Danny Collins at the back. But one, for whatever reason, we're not allowed to get a loan in. I think it's because we've had the six already. Even though I've sent two back, it just won't let me. We don't have six in the club. We've got four, but two have gone back. Try and buy him. And he went 900 grand. Maybe League 2, League 1. We ain't going to be getting him away. I even gave the um, director of football a chance to buy him. But oh, Spencer, you greasy bastard. He couldn't do it. So let's get into it. It's going to be a tough game today. Barnett had a good squad. Um, I think... I think we'll have a good chance. This is the system I have been playing. These are the other two options. We have the attacking version and the defensive, which to be fair, I've not tapped into yet. I'm having a lot more luck with this. Attack being the best form of defense. And I've pretty much set it up to accommodate these two boys up top, Thomas and Samuel. Samuel, I don't want him being a pressing forward. I still want him up there, but sitting off the striker. Wait and Jones Thomas. I want their pace to stay out there as this inverted winger. So I do want them kind of playing around here with Blake on the outside, Taylor on the outside, and swap you two around. Stirk and Vaughan controlling it. I think we'll do all right. So let's get into it. Our fingers crossed. So we're up against a 4-4-2, very similar to our formation. I don't know who their big hitters are. Cole Thirst looks to be the top goal scorer. Decent player, 24 years old. He's had a good start, 4-5 for him. So let's get into it, boys. Passionately tell them. I want the fans to have a good performance, and some of them are stressing out already. Come on, man. I want you to passionately win the game for us. That didn't go too well, did it? But... Okay, first half, we don't need that, do we? Let's go for some league table. And it's us on the ascendancy, first of all. David Vorm with the corner, into the near post, and Lewis Thomas has an opportunity. I don't know why our centre-back wasn't there, but, oh, for God's sake. Cold Thurston, don't you dare. Are you fucking serious or what? See, this is what I mean, man, our defence... Was that Thomas again? I don't think it was. Who was that? Danny Taylor, right back. To be fair, cracking goal. But we made that look so easy, didn't we? And the top goal scorer for them, Shaquille Cothurst, with an early goal to put them top of the league. Let's demand a little bit more. Come on, boys. Cothurst is pulling all the strings and needs to be cut, closed down. No, I'm sticking with it. Only 20 minutes in. We're playing well. We've got the better of them. We've got the more possession. It's just that we're not really performing. Here's an opportunity. Alex into cold thirst. Snap him. Oh, for God's sake. They're just walking around us, aren't they? Springing it around. Don't let it into him. That was a poor shot. Right then. And that's the end of the highlight. Brilliant. I thought we were at least going to have a shot on goal then. Right, back into heavens. Keep it simple. Nice. Grey. Clear it now. Out wide. A bit of space. Vaughan. Stirk. A lot of confidence for them. Stirk pushing forward. Samuel. Strange pass. Back to Taylor. Vaughan in most space. Well done. Stirky boy controlling it. Oh, well done. Blake. Oh. My main man nearly scoring a goal. That's a bit better, lads. Come on. Oh. See, we are battering them at the moment. But we just cannot get that equaliser. And it's these type of games that will make or break your season. Taylor long ball in. Back to wait. Taylor get the ball back in, San. Oh, straight at the goalkeeper. There's only one team where I should go up in this league. And there's a strange playoff between six clubs. Oh, Cole Thirst, man. He's a good player for this level, isn't he? Clearly. But we've also got good players for this level and we should be doing better. We just can't get that goal. Let me assertively tell them I do want a better performance in the second half. I'm just going to quickly play around with something because I need to 
just see if we can just sometimes by shifting them over like that it freshens them up a little bit you know we'll see so almost 10 minutes the second half not a thing we need to change don't we <sighs> who's not performing James isn't performing ah, but we're weak out there our wingers man there's not much pace and we need these two playing we do let's maybe swap them around a bit see if that makes any difference and I put Venables in there for Stirk and swap them round he's not exactly a box to box midfielder with those physicals but he does like to get into the box and I'm tempted to put Pennicut in but not just yet let's see how that goes okay Blake big throw Thomas oh, it's bouncing around and they're on the break again somebody closing down good tackle ridiculous man you could see it come in midfield hasn't got much physicality they're just plodding back look Taylor with the tackle McCallum's there and my keeper what are you doing lad okay we're gonna pause it there we're gonna have to make some changes here <sighs> let's go 4 2 3 1 let's put Venables up there instead of Samuel who's playing better up front Thomas 6.6 .6, Samuel's a 7.1 Jamie Thomas do one son Oh, he's after going there. Oh, you don't know what you can see the weakness of our team right now. I'm gonna put those two back out there. Pennicut. Which way could you play last time? He's half decent out there, isn't he? Let's give it a go. Freshen up a bit. Jake in for Taylor. Oh, I don't like that. I'm gonna go back to this one. as that I think I didn't like that dropping a player back when we're chasing for a goal it doesn't seem right have confidence in the system come on Samuel do it oh shoot from 30 yards out then. after 10 goals in 105 games you've got confidence lad fair play oh we haven't got long left have we I know very attacking does absolutely nothing, but see what happens. Oh. Come on, boys, just get a goal back. Jones Thomas, put the afterburners on, son. Skin him. Well done. Good ball. Oh, is it a penalty? No, but this is almost the same with Blake. Oh. Did that come off another player? It went in directly from him, but that looked like it took a deflection. No, that was a curl. Blakey lad. What a goal, son. Come on. One more goal. One more goal. Please. Two minutes left. Blake. Corner. It's in. Who got it? Danny Collins. Yes. Get in there. Woohoo! Set piece to the back post. Danny Collins with a header. Oh, man. What a goal. And we've equalised. And we deserve it, man. We've had twice as many shots as them. Much more possession. Get in there and we're top of the league. See, that's what I mean. Those points make so much difference when it comes to the end of the season. That could mean all the difference from promotion to playoff. Like, literally, couldn't it? You... you you cannot fault the lads. Oh, I'm happy with that. Well done, boys. Okay. So that's the end of that game. Let's get ready for the Notts County game. Right, before we get into the Notts County game, I thought I'd start on this screen just to show you the difference in class. Look, Notts County are favourites to go up this year after coming down out of League 2 last year. Barnet we third favourites who we drew against and we battered and we're still down here predicted to finish 18th you know we are well above our station and look who is in the media dream 11 Matty Blake again 
The love for this man is ridiculous and what a start to the season he's had. Six games, three goals, five assists for a left back. Let's hope he can bring the same to today's game against Notts County. I'm going to stick to the same system but the only thing I'm going to change is I'm going to put that pressing forward roll on Samuel. I just think it's going to work better for us, you know. And I still want him as the box-to-box. -box. I'm thinking about these roles. Something doesn't sit right there at the moment for me. I just don't know what. Stokes is not performing at 6.6. .6. What does he prefer? Deep line. Ah, see, I don't want that. And I don't advance. I don't him too far forward. Maybe we could just go for the centre mid on support. And see how that works. Let's try it. Why not, Ned? We're only playing the favourites of the league today. What could go wrong? Come on then, lads. Warm up your muscles. So we've got a good team we're up against. I think this lad is in the media dream 11. Baldivine, who's on the wing. Enzio. He's pretty good, isn't he? Let's be honest. With 200 grand, two north. £1,000 a week. I would love him in my team. He's just not Welsh. Let's do it. Dressing room. Team talk passionately. Tell them that I believe in you and I want you to give me a good performance. Please, I have faith. Okay, let's go. We're playing against a 4 4 2. They love a 4 4 2 in this league. Early free kick, O'Brien. And the lad we just mentioned. The not nel the not Welsh Enzio Baldivine with an easy back post tap in. Look how narrow we're defending. Four defenders within the width of the goal posts. Terrible start. Within four minutes we're down one nil. But we still got time to pull it back. Here we go. Vaughan cross Evans. Ah, I got your head to it, but a little bit wide. We are getting battered as well in terms of possession. We're starting to pull it back around slightly, but I, possession is something, is a big thing for me. Thomas, go on. After Burners. Skin him. Oh, unlucky, my boy. Cracking effort. Vaughan with the corner. Comes back to wait. Bit of space. Dawdled on it, and Samuel hits it over. Oh, I thought that was going in then. Much better the last 10 minutes. Keep demanding more, not like it's an OP loophole. Okay, don't dawdle on it, which we do so often. Booty, Stirk, a bit of composure, son. Oh, you go nowhere, Thomas. Ah, oh, Baldivine skins our main man and crosses it in to Regan Booty to make it 2 0. This is similar to the Barnet game, isn't it? I don't even want to look at this, but let's just appreciate it. Baldivine, Booty, guess up above Thomas, who has proven a very a weak part of our team at the moment. He's looked out of sorts the last couple of games, and the quality is just not there. But the amount of Welsh right backs have got Samuel. Come on. Just before the break, this would change the second half for me. Blake to Collins. Collins, Dawdlin, Vaughan to Evans. Good ball up to Taylor. Nice little ball in there, San. Get in there. Well done. Alex Samuel, second goal of the season. That was nice, man. Evans out to Taylor. This guy running away to pull the player away. Takes his time into Samuel. First time hit. Bottom corner. Loving it. Immediate highlight. Don't concede. Oh, maybe score. Oh, that was very good play at the back from them to get it out. Let's get the ball back, boys. I don't like this. I don't like where this is going. Oh, that was too easy. Oh. I'm not even going to say good save. He just hit it at his face. First half, stats are in our favour. We've actually turned the possession round, so I'm happy with that. Started dreadful, but we turned it round. But still, I want a better performance, lads. 
I assertively tell you that I believe in you. Okay. Let's do this. Take a draw right now, I'll be honest. Oh. I need to look at that um, set piece routine. The players at the near post seem to be fucking tiny. And I need my big defenders there. Get him right up there. Get out. Close him down. Well done to... Oh, what? Why would it end there? We're on two on two at the back, look. No 70 yards away from the goal, but still. Blake, good composure. What are you doing, Collins? Every time. Told you. He just messes it up. Don't... Oh... Come on, Blake. Let's have some calmness at the back. Right. I need to make some changes after this highlight, I believe. Oh, that guy's running the show, isn't he? Oh, keep... Uh... Will Miller with his fourth of the season. Bodvine sprays it out to Booty, the other goal scorer. Who looks up, Miller's there in acres of space. To be fair, Gray gets a hand to it. But that's just not good, is it? What are we going to do, lads? Let's have a think, shall we? With our many options on the bench. I think this is going to be our tactic. Because the gap between midfield and attack just isn't there at the moment. Jamie Thomas, who isn't really performing at all this season, is going to come out for Venables. Sturk and Vaughan are in their ideal roles now. Jake Nichols for Taylor. And we're going to go with that. I've changed it from positive to attacking, so we do need a goal. With 60 minutes gone. Half hour to change our fortunes. Let's demand some more and ask for more from the boys. Come on. The minutes are ticking by, and they're on the ascendancy again. Close him down, Booty. Oh, my God. That's three goals from headers. And look how easy this is. Who's closing him down? Should be Matty Blake, but he's my boy. I can't pick on him. And the subs have already been made, so I can't even blame the old boys. Oh, lads, this has been a tune-in. This has been a reality check, hasn't it? Let's take a step back. We're playing against the favourites in the league. And we scored again. And we're losing 4-2. Cracking vision by Evans. Great touch, Samuel. First time keeper cocked that one right up. Yeah. Playing against the best team in the league on paper. Statistically, we're beating them. Are we going to score again? Are we going to score again? Yes, we are. Wait. Come on. Is it going to happen again? This would be a three-goal comeback rather than the two. Look at this revision from Sturkey. It was actually one-two, isn't it? Oh, lads. Great goal. Ten minutes to go, approximately. And we're on it again, Nichols. Vaughan. He's gone straight through. <laughs> David Vaughan. What happened then? We need to see this one. Nichols, long ball into Vaughan, who gets like the tiniest little, little toe in it, and the keeper just absolutely cocks that one up. Oh my god. Lads, let's win it. Come on. Push. One more sub. Alex Samuels knackered. Pennicut. Go up top, boy. Come on. Oh, we're all over now, aren't we? Surely. 10 seconds left, it's all over. Blow up ref, oh my god. <gasps> what a comeback. Three goals in seven minutes between Samuel, Waite and Vaughan. And we've equalized. Oh, assistant, do that, mate's gone lads. What a fantastic day of football. Two draws. Nothing to sing home about, but look how many late goals we've had. I need to sit down now. I'm already sitting down. I need to lie down. I think we're going to jump ahead 
to the FA Cup game. Let's go for that, shall we? It'd be interesting to see if we can get a, a nice easy run to one point and we get a big team. So thanks for joining, lads. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, like, comment, subscribe. My name's Johnny. This is JDFM. You take care.